Last week, Google had their Google I.O. conference. Basically, the best way to describe it is the equivalent of Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. In this video, I'm going to tell you what was the most important things that were announced in this Google I.O. And obviously, as always, at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion regarding what was announced. Let's get to it. We're going to start off with the updates to the AI. It's nice to see that Google apparently uh, is still going all in with the AI and their voice assistants. Uh, most of the times when you're at the top of your field, you kind of uh, lag a little bit, but apparently that's not what Google is doing. My opinion is that Google has the best voice assistant out there, and by a pretty good margin, they're, in my opinion, the best. Next would be Alexa, and Siri is basically at the bottom even though they were the first. Anyways, uh, getting back to Google, which is the important part, uh, they're gonna add a feature that they're calling Lambda. Uh, basically, the best way to describe this is that uh, it's gonna be able to carry conversations a lot easier than it had been before. Uh, they gave a nice example with the voice assistant talking as if it were the planet Pluto. So that was very nice to see, especially when you remember that they did uh, some sort of phone screening uh, with their voice assistant and it actually worked very nice so it's nice to see that they're doing that the next improvement that they're doing is improvements to google maps again i know uh, it google is one of the best google map apps out there so they just keep improving in the things that they're doing they have a live view feature which will let you see important areas that are nearby uh, like, for example, restaurants, historical monuments, the name of the street, etc. It's also going to be able to see sidewalks, crosswalks, etc. So uh, for those people that like to walk around, this is going to be an awesome feature for you. Uh, places such as restaurants and coffee bars, etc., depending on the time, they're going to be a little bit more highlighted on the maps. So you can see where your coffee shops are near your area. For example, if you're waking up in the morning and once the evening comes by, there's gonna give you a little bit better highlights of what restaurants are available near your area. So that's always a nice update to have. They're also gonna have a feature called area busyness. It's gonna let you see, uh, if you're, for example, you go touristing, uh, they give the example of Italy. I've never been to Italy, so uh, if you've been, if you go to Italy, it's going to tell you which areas are, have uh, the same amount of people that they normally have or if the, the people amount is a little bit higher. So maybe you want to avoid those areas until they die down a little bit. So it's a nice feature to have if you're going to be, uh, for example, in tourist, uh, if you're going to go touristing around. Uh, the other feature that they indicated was a feature to the photos algorithm. It's going to be able to determine uh, based on things that are inside the picture. Like, for example, they gave an example of a backpack and that they, he was uh, uh, going on walking on mountains, etc. It's going to take all those pictures and get them closer together so you have better access to them. So that's always a nice feature to have that uh, the system allows you to bundle up some photos that look alike. Uh, if, if you want to do some sort of video, etc. If you just want to show them to friends, it's always a nice uh, theme to have. The next thing they talked about was update to the Android OS system. They gave an example uh, that they, if you pick a wallpaper that has uh, green, blue, yellow, it's going to be able to get the theme of those colors throughout your operating system. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of gimmicky. Uh, because if you have an OLED screen, you want to save as much battery as possible on your phone. So you're going to get to dark mode and you're, you're not going to want uh, highlighted colors uh, spending more battery than you actually can get with the dark mode. So uh, that was kind of gimmicky. One of the other features is an indicator light that will uh, be available on the screen letting you know that either the camera or the microphone are being used. You will also be able to unlock your Chromebook with your phone. You will also be able to use your phone as a controller for your Chromecast. 
car key will be available for your with your phone for certain cars that have the feature and uh, Google is apparently hinting that they are working on a watch okay 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 all right all right I, I you know that's enough can I can I do it is it PC you sure yeah okay uh, I want to welcome Android users to the year 2016 uh, Apple has had these features for a long time. I have a cousin that he kept teasing me every time Apple added to their iOS a feature that he had been uh, using for three, four years. So this is payback time. So again, Android users, once this operating system comes out, welcome to the year 2016. From all of us Apple fanboys, welcome to 2016. No, but uh, it's, all, it's all in good fun. Uh, it is awesome to see that, you know, as much as they criticize each other, they can take ideas from each other to improve their features. Uh, the last feature that they announced that is very important is improvement to the camera's image processing systems to be able to take pic better pictures of people with uh, darker skin colors. Uh, we know that most phones have a problem uh, being able to capture good images of beautiful people uh, with darker skin colors. It's it's a hassle to have, but apparently they're going to be working with it. So uh, that's awesome to see that they're working on that. Hopefully this will inspire basically everyone else to work at it also. So we can have the nicest pictures possible on the phone. Uh, overall, it was a great presentation. It's nice to see again, like I said at the beginning, that the best voice assistant system is still being improved and they can still see room for improvement uh, the android os uh, features that they announced are you know, some are kind of gimmicky some apple users have had for a long time but it's going to excite a lot of android users to finally have those features uh, the the best one was the one that got the camera so well, that was awesome and obviously all the google map updates are honestly very welcome as long as they come also for Apple users, please don't forget about us. So overall, it was nice to see. It's gonna be impressive to see also uh, once the Pixel 6 comes out uh, because whatever they did with the Pixel 5 didn't work. So hopefully they will fix everything with the Pixel 6 and all of these features that are coming to Android OS. If you like this video, please hit the like button right below me. Also, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you can get notified when we have new videos. Remember, we're available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and obviously YouTube at J.R. Abrams Tech so you can stay up to date with the latest news and rumors about tech. Until next time.